Well, good morning. Hi, my name's Melissa, and this is the third day since launching my YouTube channel. And my focus the last few days has been about my fasting. And I'm going to continue that theme until I finish up this five day water fast. So I'm in day three, and the hunger is definitely subsiding, which is um, what a lot of people that I've watched on YouTube and, and reading and following Dr. Jason Fung and his book, The Complete Guide to Fasting, and I will provide a link below um, for you so you can find that book easily. Um, we talk about day three being the day where you feel kind of sluggish and um, there's also a fasting documentary on, I think it's on Amazon, I'll try to provide a link for that as well, that really does a great job describing the changes that the body goes through when you're doing a long-term fast, um, the whole key, going into ketosis process, and um, what's really going on in your body, and um, and then how it begins to clean up all those dysfunctional proteins and and different things in the body and uh, and so day three day one and two usually day one is pretty easy especially if you've already been incorporating intermittent fasting um, day two the hungers the hunger pain was pretty significant um, but that usually passes after day two for most people everyone's body is different Day three is when you kind of feel this overall just kind of you um, feeling um, and so that's where I'm at and so I'm just going to kind of take it easy today. Um, I got all my Christmas decorations packed away yesterday and now I have to redecorate my house because we take down all of our artwork and put up Christmas stuff. It's like overload but it's fun. And, um, so yesterday I incorporated, and I knew that I would, I planned on it, I incorporated some, um, apple cider vinegar water with a lot of cinnamon. Um, I ended up, later in the evening, I had, um, a bowl of miso broth, which was less than 15 calories. So, um, as you do your research, it's pretty consistent across the board, um, that most doctors and fasting people will tell you that anything under 50 calories every couple of hours will keep you in your fast. Um, I, and Dr. Fung has a, a list in his book of approved liquids that you can drink, of course, coffee and all your teas, you know, anything without sugar. Um, and even um, you can have about a tablespoon of cream in your coffee, heavy cream, um, heavy whipping cream. It's got to be high fat and that won't break your fast. And so I indulged in that yesterday, had a couple of cups of coffee throughout, you know, a course of three or four hours. Um, and lots of tea, you know, in the evening as it went on, I would have tea and, um, and then I do Celtic salt under my tongue a couple times a day and drink, you know, eight ounces of water or so. Um, I try not to overdo it with the liquids. Um, your body does this natural flushing process in the first couple of days when you start fasting. And um, you can really knock off your electrolytes if you're slamming the liquids. And I know a lot of people talk about it on their YouTube um, you know, you just have to listen to your body and, and also, um, listen to the guidance of your doctor that, you know, you've discussed this plan with and, um, and yeah, but it's pretty common that you can knock out your magnesium with too much liquids and, and so really, you know, our body's designed perfectly, um, if you drink water when you're thirsty, you'll do good, um, and you tend to want to drink more because you can't eat so you kind of replace some of that eating with drinking so I feel like that um, you don't really have to focus on it 
you know, your body's naturally going to tell you what you need. Um, there is some theories out there that, you know, if you drink too much water while you're doing a fast, um, you can really overtax your kidneys and the whole point, besides maybe weight loss, um, to fasting, long-term fasting, is giving your body a chance to heal and to rest um, and do some of that deep healing. Um, so overall, I feel good. I don't, I don't think ever in my life I've gone more than a day without eating. Um, I'm still having a lot of food fantasies, but, um, but yeah. So overall, a little bit more about me. I hardly ever wear makeup. I have developed a sensitivity to almost all makeup, so I'm hoping that um, that doing the fasting will kind of help my body reboot and not be so allergic to so many things so that maybe, you know, at least on special occasions, I can wear full makeup and not get reactions from it. Um, so looking forward to seeing if that's a benefit. Luckily, I've been, I think, I've been blessed with pretty good skin and for someone who's almost 50, I think that I look pretty good without makeup. But anyway, so yeah. All right, well, here's to day three of my five day water fast. And um, yeah, all right, bye guys.